Welcome back to Heroes and Whiskey. We're printing our way through the D&D 5e Monster Manual, and today we are printing monster number 43, the Serpent Demon, the Merilith. This Merilith is from Artisan Guild, and it's one of those figures that, you know, you come across this every once in a while, and you say to yourself, it, it just wouldn't have been possible to create this as recently as two or three years ago. The details are just so exceptional, the way the character is posed. I mean, you could not print this on an FDM printer. And so, it, I mean, it, it just shows how far this hobby has come in just a few short years. And the styling of this model is great. You can see all of the arms uh, have got some dynamic character to them. They've all got different weapons. There's a flail that's kind of wrapping around her back. Uh, she's got a belt that's kind of swinging off to the side. It's just so cool what we're able to do with a bottle of resin and a little UV light these days. So uh, in terms of how she printed it, it, it was a little bit complicated. Uh, each of the hands with its respective weapons uh, is a different piece. And I do have to admit, uh, gluing them on in the right place in the at the right angle was a little bit difficult. I, also, somewhere along the way, I lost one of her earrings. And so I don't really know where that ended up, if it even uh, printed out at all. But in terms of the actual print process, it worked fine. Just took a little bit uh, more assembly than I'm used to. And if you're shopping for Meriliths on my mini factory, there's actually quite a few to choose from. There's this one that we found uh, from Artisan Guild, just $5. It's really just a great deal for a model of this detail. There's this one from Belksasar. Belksasar. Uh, they actually make, uh, I think, three different versions of the same thing, three different poses. There's this one from TPK Lab. We printed their Garistro, just eight dollars. Uh, I really like this design too. Again, you you couldn't do, you can't do this with an FDM printer, and you couldn't do this even four or five years ago. And here's one from Yasashi Kyojin. I really like this. I mean, just $3. Their stuff is always a really, really good deal. And there's just a, a ton of detail here. And I love the way the arms are kind of like uh, hiding weapons behind the back. And I love the addition of the rattlesnake tail. And then Epic Miniatures, as they often do, they make a, a three-pack of three different poses. And so if this is the style that you like, this is a great deal as well for just 10 bucks. So in terms of size, this Merilith that we picked looks like it's about 12 feet tall total. Uh, I mean, its arms and its hair raised above its head is probably, uh, you know, 15 or 18 feet total. And in terms of price, uh, again, it was $5, which is a really amazing deal for a model like this. It took almost five hours to print, and so now we are at 417 total dollars in eight days and 16 hours. So just a really impressive figure from Artisan Guild, how much detail and how much dynamic nature they were able to bake into this figure. Next up, we're going with something a little more grotesque, the Nalfeshni.